But Elton was sent to the nation, Nigeria. He was a national prophet. He was a national voice. In fact, his chronicles, his prophecies are still the roadmap we have today, and we have as a ministry today, for our navigation, for our efforts, Pa Elton. Because we recognize that he was sent to Nigeria as a national prophet. He was the one that was able to unveil our destiny and he spoke about our corporate destiny being a ground where God will host a revival that will affect the world. Now, did he say anything about that revival while those days? Yeah, what did so, he say? So, uh, the first day I stepped in his house and he asked me where I was from and I told Pilton that I'm a thief man Pilton did not talk for like five minutes. He was quiet. Just looking at me. And then he would say, Thief man. Thief man. <laughs> and after a while, he said, The greatest revival is going to take place with the thief people. that it will be very, very difficult for the two people to submit to God, but God will finally take them. And when he does, he's going to use them to vanquish the whole of Islam in northern Nigeria and the northern part of Africa. Now, so, if you hear those words, are you with me? Now, if someone prophesies, if you are discerning, you will know where the prophecy is coming from. The way prophecy is, there's a way the texture of prophecy is when it comes from the counsel of God. There's a way the texture of prophecy is when it comes from the counsel of angels. There's a way the texture of prophecy is when it comes from the counsel of heaven. What we saw in the ministry of Pa Elton, he was plugged in to the counsel of God. And what he brought about Tivland do you still remember what he said? Please give us a chronicle of what he said about this land. Uh, no, so all I could recall was that first day I came and he, and he encountered me. I knew that I'm a thief person and just said those he words. He said, talked about a revival that was to come. Yeah, I say that it would be difficult, difficult for the thief people to yield or to submit completely Do to Do you God. have any... Um, record whether or not he ever came to this land. Uh, he, he didn't because uh, later now, on... That's what I wanted you to know. He did not know about the thief people because he visited here. Oh, you're not with me. Okay, because you're not interested, don't worry, I will, I will not... <laughs> I was moved. There was, as he was talking now, I became moved to be talking about strange things that I'm not supposed to talk about. At least not now. Yeah, so but he... I'm saying you're not... You're not, you're not. Uh, yeah, so he never came here. He never came here, but he knew about the destiny of the thief nation much more than a thief man. Yes. He knew about the destiny of the thief nation, the destiny of the thief people group much more than a thief man that was born and bred in thief land. Now, you see, the thing about a prophet especially a prophet that transmits from the counsel of God, is that that prophet can give you insight about yourself beyond what you know about yourself. That prophet has access to the ledger of God, to the diary of God, where he conceived you in his heart and the details of what you will have capacity to become by reason of ordination was chronicled. Elton was one of the few mortals that walked this earth that had access to the grand council of his majesty. And the thing about this matter is this. You might decide not to believe and nothing will happen to you. You will not lose your salvation. But, but, are you there? You are excluded 
because of the rank the man carried and the favor he had with God. God has said, are you with me? If you accept him, not just as per Elton, but as a prophet. That's, that's, that's different. If you accept him in the capacity of my sending ordination upon him, heaven pens your name down that we will reward you in the age that is. You will walk in some measure of the rewards in time, but you'll be rewarded in the age that is to come. So, can you give us a grand summary? Yeah, so the grand summary is um, uh, Pilton never uh, knew of the word uh, Elisha when God spoke to him to come to Nigeria and live in Elisha. He never knew of of, of, of the name called I mean, I mean Elisha. He didn't okay. know there was anything like that. So when God said, if you come to Nigeria, live in Elisha, he took the map of Nigeria and started to look for a town by the name of Elisha. <laughs> so there were just a few of them praying when God do you spoke. See, do you see how the prophets of old were diligent to follow prescriptions? Today, ministry is a jamble, it's a jungle. So when he came to Elisha, the town was such a very small place. And, and there were some missions back home in Europe, in, I mean in America, when they discovered that he was here, they gave him a lot of offers to move and live in Lagos so that they would be funding him to live in Ibadan so that they would be funding him. He refused and said, God said, I should live in Elisha. A very, very lonely place. That's why he lived till he died. He, uh, he came to Nigeria around 1936, thereabout. Jesus. Yeah, thereabout. So, uh, by the time I was meeting him, I think he was here for, uh, uh, from 36 to 80, 82. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yes. And so he remained there and would travel around the country and minister. And his ministry was particular to uh, university students. He saw that that is the future. And so he loved to minister to students in, I mean, on the campuses. I mean, you know, in Ife, and that's why he came to ABU and all of that. Um, his wife, who we called Mama, you know, I don't even know, I mean, I mean know her name till now. Uh, was a very, very quiet woman. I cannot quote two words that, uh, that I heard from her. Yeah, but I kept going to the house severally. I cannot remember because it was so quiet there. But Pilton said that any time he was ministering, he was looking at his wife. And when he was going beyond when he should stop and he saw the wife would signal him, he would end it. <laughs> yeah, so the wife was an integral part of the ministry, of ministry. and the calling. Um, pa Elton was actually an apostle okay. that, that operated in the prophetic grace too, but an apostle to Nigeria. And he told us that when he comes back, he is going to be ruling over Nigeria. Hmm. That's when he comes back in the age to come. Yes. Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> now, can you see his heart is on the reward? That's why you will not find him being a, a, a reggae rack. May Lord have mercy on us. Mark chapter 9, verse 41. Mark chapter 9, verse 41. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. 
Is that?